things. Do you think the photo ID uh, measure is going to be a constitutional amendment by the end of session? Well, I know it's moving statutorily right now, and that's what's been moving through. But Governor Dayton has a say in the statute. Sure. And so we'll he does not have a say in constitutional amendments. Do you think, would you support a constitutional amendment? For photo ID? Well, I'd like to get to see what he has to say on the photo ID bill. I mean, I'd like to wait and see what happens there. And let's say he vetoes it, just a guess. <laughs> We love the rhetorical. We're not looking at that far ahead. We are going to have. <laughs> we got photo ID and judiciary. I believe it'll be the. It'll be after break that it'll go through finance and then be to the floor in the Senate. And the House is moving a little differently. Yep, they'll be in transportation on Monday. Be out of there. Who's that? Who's that? Uh, I think in, I, th I think actually, the, yeah, I think transportation, because it's already been to GovOps and state gov, so I think that, oh, it does have to go to Ways, to be, uh, ways and Means. So. But he said he didn't want a campaign, I think it was a campaign finance reform bill that wasn't, didn't have bipartisan support, bipartisan, you know, that wasn't a bipartisan bill. Um, I mean, isn't that pretty much, uh, doesn't that sort of spell some doom for this photo ID bill? Well, I think you'll see what the floor vote looks like. I mean, if there's a bipartisan floor vote, I mean, I, there's there's 72 of us. If there's more than 72 votes, it'll be bipartisan. And have any of them expressed any interest, any of the Democrats, any interest in photo ID? Uh, I, they haven't, but uh, they don't want to talk to me about what they want to vote for. <laughs> I get to see as the vote comes up. So, I, I mean, we know there's uh, been members of the DFL caucus and the Republican caucus that have voted for this in the past. I don't know how or why they would decide to change their mind this year, but that's why everybody gets their own vote. We know that Minnesotans strongly support photo ID. <coughs> So then why not make it a constitutional <laughs> Well, we'll get back to you on that, Rachel. But right now, it's moving statutorily. <laughs> I don't know. Thank you. We'll see. Let's see what he does. Let's see what the governor does. Thanks.